Hi, we are going to show you the preliminary version of the IV Cloud Slicer. It's not ready yet, but the main functions were achieved. And this video is intended to demonstrate the main functions. The first one is cloud printing, and the second one is cloud slicing. We'll make an official introduction when the slicer is ready to release. And let's check how IV achieved cloud printing. To start with, Log in the platform and you'll see this page. We've uploaded some models. And let's choose a model firstly. Okay, the typical 3D bench. Well, there is one G code already. Let's have a look. We can see the basic printing parameters here, including the printing time, layer height, nozzle diameter, material type, material consumption, nozzle temperature, and printing speed. If you are okay with the parameters, you can use the G-code to start printing directly, which can set you free from downloading files and slicing. Click Make, and you'll see this box. It shows IV2 is printing, so the Make button turns disabled. If the printer status is available, you'll be able to click the Make button to start printing. Now you see how easy 3D printing would be with IV Slicer. Just find the model you like and start printing. No need to download or transfer files from anywhere, which is very friendly to users, especially beginners. If you can't find the model you want on the platform or you have a self-designed model to print, you can upload the file to Slice and then start printing. Let's check out Cloud Slicing. First of all, click New Design and select a file. Okay, we need to complete the design information firstly. And it's for 3D printing. And we need to select main category for this model. Okay, I think this one is okay. Home cat bottle bottom decoration. And we can save it. Now let's load to slicer to get into the slicing page. You can use the default settings or adjust the print settings, which are very detailed. We will develop different manuals of print settings for different level users, including basic version, advanced version, and expert version. I want this model to be denser, so I need to adjust few settings. I need a smaller layer height and a smaller wall thickness and a larger infill density okay let's slicing once the slicing is done you are ready to print okay um, let's preview the G code Okay, looks good. Click Make to start printing. Okay, the same page again. This is how the IV slicer works. Let's check what IV is making now. Here is the printing progress, showing the progress, the consumed printing time, and the remaining time. You can pause. Or cancel the printing task anytime and here is the printer information you can see it's printing right now which was started eight hours ago here shows the real-time temperature of the nozzle and the target temperature is adjustable and this graphic shows the collection of nozzle temperatures in the past 30 minutes you can control the printer on this page the black box is supposed to display real-time monitoring, but it's not available yet. You can adjust the position of XYZ axis here, and this bar shows the movement distance per step. 
you can also extruding or retracting distance here and this is about motors and fan control you can turn them on or off here so that's all for the demonstration it's not perfect yet and our engineers will keep working hard to make it better you are more than welcome to put forward your suggestions thank you